Hello, it's me, Kara. March is just around the corner, so let's get on with another bullet journal setup plan with me. Bulan ini nggak cuma gue akan bikin my monthly spread, but since I'm also going to be traveling di awal bulan ini, gue juga bikin semacam travel spread, which you will see later on. As you can see, this month, tema yang gue pakai adalah everything, bees, beehives, and honeycombs. Kenapa? No specific reason. Gue cuma berpikir sebentar lagi mau masuk musim spring, dan menurut gue lebah cukup merepresentasikan perubahan musim. Anyway, seperti biasa gue selalu tracing gambar dan planning gue sebelumnya using a pencil, baru abis itu di trace ulang dengan pen. Tips yang sangat berguna, apalagi kalau kalian adalah tipe orang yang rada OCD seperti gue, nggak bisa lihat tulisan salah, rasanya pengen langsung ganti buku aja. But as one of my New Year resolution, I need to try to not dwell on things beyond my control too much and just go with the flow. If it's fixable, fix it. That's what happened to me on last month's setup. Moving on. Seperti biasa, gue bikin monthly calendar spread di setiap awal bulan. I really like last month's style, so I'm doing it again this time. Kalau kalian mau check out my other bullet journal setup plan, I put all the links in the description box below. Be sure to check it out and give it some love and subscribe to my channel, please! I have to say, baking all these honeycombs really takes a lot of time, but it should be worth it in the end, right? Tangan gue beneran gemeteran after finishing this month's setup. So much drawing for me, which also reminds me I need to get a manicure before my upcoming trip.
Seperti biasa juga, gue bikin tabel school events or schedules in these pages. Tujuannya none other supaya bisa sinkron aja sih. Next are the task list, blogs, and videos ideas list per usual. And on the next page is my expenses page. I still absolutely love this spread, but I'm thinking of trying a new and more in-depth spread. Maybe buat next month, kalau gue nemu spread yang cocok buat gue. If you have any idea, please leave on the comment section below. Berikutnya adalah school lunch menu, nothing different about it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kan? Okay, next, the more fun stuff. The next few pages will be dedicated specifically for my travel spread. Kalau kalian ada rencana traveling dalam waktu dekat, bisa banget menggunakan these spreads. Pertama tentunya yang utama buat gue adalah the itinerary, dalam arti untuk catatan flight dan hotel gue. And other miscellaneous notes should there be any.
Karena temanya travel, gue bikin gambar seperti Polaroids untuk mencatat nomor flight gue, kemudian tiket pesawat untuk mencatat nomor reservasi, alamat, dan nomor telepon hotel. And of course, it will not be complete without a plane somewhere. Next adalah my packing list Setiap gue mau traveling, gue selalu bikin packing list Call it my OCD side, tapi I really love making a packing list to keep me sane And so I won't forget anything important dan juga menghindari overpacking I hate that Comment down below if you want to see how I pack for my travels I might just make a video about it Lastly, on my travel spread, ini adalah list shopping places, tempat-tempat makan yang pengen gue cobain, juga places where I wanna see. Penasaran gue mau kemana? Just wait and see. I'm going to vlog the trip. Maybe. Sekarang kita kembali ke our regular setup show Seperti biasa gue bikin weekly spread In keeping with the theme, tentu harus ada unsur honeycomb Dan gue akan menggambar the hive later
Overall, I really think everything went really well and I'm actually quite happy and satisfied with the outcome. So if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel. Until my next video, bye!